What is up, everybody? This your boy, Charles Wells, a.k.a. the host of Swag Talk, the show where we cover the swag inside and out. Coming at you with some uh, some breaking, breaking news. Um, I'm sure by now you've heard it already, but um, Southern University football coach Dawson Odoms has accepted the head coaching job at Norfolk State. So he's moving on from Southern, and that leaves a void in the in the in the Jaguars football program. Um, Odoms was 59 and 30 at Southern overall, and 50 and 12 in the SWAC. He led Southern to four SWAC uh, division championships in two, 2013, 2014, 2018, and 2019. And he also won a SWAC championship in 2013. Um, I, as I like to say over and over, he won, excuse me, he lost five sweat games in five years. So he had the Jaguars, um, rolling, so to speak, uh, when he took over in, in 2012, which was his only losing season as a Southern head coach, um, took over for Stump Mitchell, who got fired at the beginning of the 2012 season. Uh, Odoms came to Southern at tw- in 2011 as a defense coordinator under Stump Mitchell, took over as the interim head coach and was named the full-time coach at the end of that season. So this is, um, honestly, this is surprising news. Um, in some ways, um, you know, in other ways, I kind of figured at some point he would, um, probably be courted for a job somewhere else. I know that was, um, last, uh, last year or the year before that he was rumored for to be in, in the running for the, for the McNeese job. So of course, you know, when you win and you build a steady program, you're gonna attract suitors. And, you know, Norfolk State was the one to finally come calling. And, you know, he moves on from Southern. So um, he left Southern on a high note, uh, beating Grambling 49-7 to and going 5-1 and one in the in the um, spring season. So now the thing is, uh, where which direction does Southern go? And honestly, right now at this point, I know a lot of people are probably going to be saying, you know, they're going to be throwing out some – some major names or uh, whatever, you know, those uh, NFL type guys who are now trying to get in on coaching. And I don't know if that's the move for Southern. I mean, obviously, if that's what Southern feels they should do, um, that's, you know, that's um, that's something that they will look at. Um, I know a lot of names, uh, a lot, um, I, this is all speculation. So don't even, don't even say, you know, I'm, I'm speaking with fact, but I, I, I would throw, a name like Eric Dooley in the mix, uh, the head coach at Prairie View. Um, a name I've already heard being floated around by people is Jabbar Jaloup. Um, I think he's a coach. He's an assistant coach at ULL, University of Louisiana Lafayette. Uh, he was um, a head coach at Carr High School in New Orleans, I think it was. And he is a, a former Southern football player under the great Pete Richardson. So, you know, that's a lot of local ties. You know, he, he coached all along the I-10 court. I think he coached them. Um, of North and Louisiana as well. So he definitely has Louisiana ties, um, Southern ties, and he's a hell of a recruiter. So that's, you know, that's the name of a guy who has done the work and could possibly be a candidate. Um, like Eric Dooley, obviously he was the offensive coordinator at Southern and Grambling and UAPB, I believe. And now he's the head coach at Prairie View. So, you know, he's a guy I, I've heard his name bumped around many a time. Because you know, let's just you know, let's just keep it real. Um, a lot of people at Southern didn't really, you know, like Odom's. You know, ah, uh, uh, they weren't really satisfied with what he was doing, because you know that was you know that big hump with the A on it that he couldn't get over. And you know, Southern's a high pressure job. I don't care if Southern is winning nine games or they winning three games. Southern fan base is a high pressure fan base you know they 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 expect certain things and you know when you don't meet those expectations you know you can you can start to get on you know on on the bad side of people and you have to be careful with that I've done shows where I talk about you know uh getting new coaches you know but in this instance this is a coach moving on it's not a coach that you fired so you know it's a different you know it's it's kind of a different thing but you definitely have to make a smart hire and you have to um, not make a, a a rash move, but you, you also don't have that much time either. So you have about 140 some odd days until the first game. So you probably got about four months um, of, of prep time. So you really need to make a, a move um, soon. Uh, and, and this is going to be interesting. This is going to be a, a, 
a, a, a situation that I'm obviously going to keep my eyes on. And, you know, if you guys got any names of coaches, you know, drop them in the comments. Um, it could be, you know, whatever you feel. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of speculation because, you know, Deion Sanders got a job at Jackson State. Eddie Joyce got a job at Tennessee State. It, you know, there's going to be people who, who outside of the circle are going to throw those kind of names in the mix. And, you know, that's, you know, that's all well and good, but I don't know if that's the direction that Southern would go. Um, I, you know, right now it's like very early in the process. So I really haven't really sat down and thought about it. I just wanted to go ahead and put this out there. Um, once I heard that it was official, I didn't want to jump the gun, but you know, this is this is a big news. This is obviously going to shake up the swag because you know you bring you losing. Um, basically, you losing the coach who had been in the swag the longest out of all head coaches, and you know a guy who had built a solid program. So this is honestly going to be a, a big a big move. And now the 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 pressure is on Southern to make a move and hire a, a, a solid coach. You know, somebody that's going to recruit well. And somebody's gonna maintain the culture that was built at Southern because if anything that I give Odom's a hundred percent credit for, and I know he don't always get his due as a head coach because you know there's people upset about how you handle you know quarterback situations and not beating all corn, but he built a program from basically from you know nothing when he took over they were under APR sanctions, he got them out of sanctions you know with the help of the athletic department, you know they got out of sanctions. You know, they, he built depth. This is a team that's very deep. You know, if this team sticks together, I don't know how many, you know, I don't know, you know, what guys are going to do, but this would be a team that returns a ton of fifth and sixth year seniors and they're very experienced and he's built a deep team. So the pieces are there for somebody to come in who, you know, somebody who willing to do the work. You have a lot to work with. You, you really have a, a, a lot. And you can almost, you know, hit the ground running because this is going to be, you're going to take over an experienced team. So if anybody wants to jump in on a job, this is the kind of job you want to jump in on because the pieces are there. The team is there. They, they're used to success. You know, they're used to a disciplined culture. You don't have to, you know, mold or mold or reshape a culture. Uh, you know, so that this is honestly a ready-made job for somebody. So that's why it's going to be interesting to see what they do. And I'm I'm definitely going to be watching very closely, and any news that I get, you guys will hear it um, either on my podcast or here on the YouTube channel. So um, with that being said, I'm about to dip up out of here. I just wanted to hop in, hop out. Um, all my socials are down in the in the description, so you can hit the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email. Um, Anchor.fm slash Wag Talk is the is where the podcast is. You can check it out on Spotify, Stitcher, Breaker, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to be alerted to anything that I upload on YouTube. And that's it, man. I'm out. I just wanted to pop in, pop out, share that news. Um, and let's, you know, if you got any any names of coaches or, or anything like that, drop it in the comments, man. We'll, we'll chop it up. All right, y'all. I'm out.